looks just the way Uncle Woody had it when he was a kid. Is the Woody world almost ready? Ready, not it! Cowabunga! Skateboarders and their coaches are making fortunes on the pro circuit. There are TV deals, equipment endorsements, and big prizes. Wow! <laughs> Kids, with your talent and my coaching, these babies are gonna make us rich and famous. <laughs> Great, Uncle Woody! Yeah, a real skateboard park! I called the scout in this article. He's coming to check you guys out, impress him, and we could get a pro skateboarding contract. Did you hear that, Louie? Those wooden heads want to go pro. Well, I've been skating this park for months. If anyone's getting a pro contract around here, it's gonna be me. Louie, we got work to do. Okay, first things first. If you want to impress a pro scout, you gotta look like pros. Image is the most important thing. Um, I don't think so. <laughs> and now to make you two hot dogs look like you're skateboarding 100 miles an hour just standing still. Well, you got the hot dog part right. <laughs> Mustard, eh? <laughs> <laughs> it's Billy and Louie! They're skateboard scum! Well, it's gonna take a lot more than their dumb tricks to stop us. Well, the scout's gonna wanna see pro moves like the Freddy Freakout, the Zapata Zigzag, and the Rooster Rail Ride. We can do those, Uncle Woody! Louie, we'll help you do some moves they'll never forget. Great move! The Freddy Freak Out! <laughs> you mean the Marble Meltdown. Dude's okay? Uh, yeah, I think so. Hey, go skate the kitty course. Oh, oof. Hey, what's going on? These are the kids you came to see. Yeah, well, I just about designed this course. I deserve any pro contracts that's being handed out. You're nothing but a smelly cheater. And you don't play fair. Hey, the only way for you to settle this is for you to decide for yourself, Chief. Of course, we'd love to race the little wooden heads, but look. They have annihilated and otherwise trashed the entirety of the course, so uh, no racing today. Says who? <laughs> Yay, Uncle Woody! Way to go! How are we going to beat him if we never skated this course before? This is all your fault.
You know, that's not so easy. Oh, Billy, I am severely unbalanced. Oh. Yeah, in the head, you flea dip. Get your grubby paws off me before I... <laughs> this is all your fault, Louie. Put me down. I'd be a pro now if it wasn't... If it wasn't... If it wasn't for you, I'd be... <laughs> Get back here! Totally rad ride. Dudes, I want you guys on the circuit. Woohoo! We going pro? Get some rest, coach. We start training 10 hours a day. First thing in the air. 10 hours a day? That's way too much work. No way! Woodpecker, I'm selling my property. Ooh, you mean it? You're leaving? I'll help you pack. It's your nonsense I'm particularly sick of. You busting my roof, destroying my lawn. I'm through with it all, I tell ya. So long. Don't forget to write. Miss Meanie, I would want to buy this lovely property of yours, yeah, sure. Do tell me more, walrus. And I would yop down this tree. Oh, wait, Wally, not my tree. Right up an offer, Mr. Walrus. You buy this place and you can do anything you want with that tree. Meantime, I'm trying out the very exclusive, very modern Mondo Condos across town. And if all goes well, I'll be signing on their dotted line tomorrow. <laughs> no more homeowner headaches and no more woodpecker. That's right, no more woodpecker. Mm, mm, mm. But you can't kick me out into the cruel, cruel world like this. What'll become of me? Where'll I go? You'll get off my windshield, for starters, woodpecker. Guess I'm gonna have to show her the grass is greener on this side of the fence. <laughs> You'll be staying the weekend in our luxurious sample unit, Ms. Meany. I tell you, dearie, a Mondo condo very nearly takes care of itself. Hot diggity! And I hope we'll find that you're Mondo condo kind of people, if you catch my meaning. <laughs> Now, let's see what this modern condo living is all about. Please step away from the Easy Pal 9000. Step away from the system. <gasps> oh, my! The automated settings have been preset to maximize your living ease. Well, isn't this convenient? Step onto the automated floor covering. The Easy Pal 9000 will escort you into the home of the future. Oh. Whoa! Oh, Miss Needy, darling, did we hear some noise? Ah! Uh, be right with you! Blind seats! Ah! We just wanted to remind you about our little poolside social. Oh, are you kidding? I wouldn't dream of wearing this old thing, not in a million! <laughs> And, and tell you what, why don't I whip up a little snacky treat for the little eat and greet? Phew. I'll bet my automated kitchen can help me pull something together and I'll automatically be in with the in crowd. <laughs> automatically. That's a good one. I'll make my famous turkey souffle. Hmm. 
Your turkey is done. Holy smoking turkey! One more modern convenience, and Mimi will beg to go back home. <laughs> oh, my soaking lumbar! <sighs> ah, time to relax. Just lie back and allow the Mondo Condo's fully automatic massage chair to work its magic. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Miss Mimi, there's something we should discuss. Why, I never. At Mondo Condo, Ms. Meanie. So, Toodaloo, feel free to come back and visit. Uh, never. Now, you listen to me, Mr. and Mrs. Snooty Pants. <gasps> Who would stand for this nerve wracking, hooty tooty automated living you think is so modern? Certainly not me. That's who. So, Toodaloo, to you. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing here? Uh, how about, well, 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 I'm just coming to check the place out. Uh, with you selling my, my tree house, I, I gotta live somewhere, you know. Ah! Forget it, Woody. <laughs> I wouldn't even let you live here. <laughs> oh, that's music to my ears, Woodpecker. <laughs> What a day! Nothing but fun in the sun and free fish fry. Oh boy, that's for me. You hear about the free fish? <laughs> Thanks for the free grub, bub. What you gonna eat tomorrow, sunny boy? I'll come back here for the free fish, same as today. Oh, sorry. Offers only good one to a customer. Besides, I got a philosophy about fishing. I give you one fish and you eat for a day. But I teach you the fish and you can eat every day for the rest of your life. 25 bucks a lesson. Ah, uh, why would I pay someone to teach me how to put a worm on a hook and snooze in a rowboat? Oh, an expert, eh? Why didn't you say so? Well, since you know all there is to know, I won't charge you a penny. But you catch old Lefty the Trout, biggest, smartest fish in these here waters, so I can hang him in my shop to do all business. And you can eat free at my stand whenever you like. Free food forever? Just for catching a stupid fish? Oh boy, you're on, bub. I'll catch a few Z's, catch Lefty the Lunker, then head back to the bait shop to catch my free dinner. I'm telling you, Al, we gotta swim upstream together sometime. I know all the best spots around. Yeah. <laughs> hey, listen, I gotta go. Some hotshot's trying to make a name for himself. Yep, it's always the same, isn't it? Thinking they got what it takes to catch old Lefty the Big Trout. Ciao. Let's do lunch sometime. <gasps> oh! Woo! Come to Woody! <laughs> Let's see. Ten-letter word for sucker. <laughs> Woodpecker. Ah! 
The sucker is a woodpecker. Hey, what's the big idea? Next time, use something other than worms. I get a big appetite sport. <laughs> There's no fish that can outsmart a woodpecker on a mission. stuff and mount you over my mantelpiece down below. That does it. No fish lip wise guy's gonna... Hey, mayflies are a trout's favorite food. And that free fish fry at the bait shop is a woodpecker's favorite food. Yep, sometimes it takes a big bug to catch an even bigger bug. Mayflies, my favorite. Whoa! Now get up, you overgrown minnow. Whoa! Yeah! <laughs> so long. See you next fishing season. I can't. Hey, what gives? Now that you know I'm not the big lunker you want to hang on the wall, you can let me go. Forget it. I got a date with free dinner for life. Oh, so sorry. This isn't the legendary lefty. Oh, no. No free meals for you, Woodbecker. What? I swear, it's your trout. Told you, sport. Now you're going to let me go? No how, no way! I want that free meal, and you're gonna get it for me. Got it? Uh. <laughs> Bucky, we gotta talk. Hey! Is it true there's a monster-sized trout in this lake? Monster trout are minnows compared to what I've caught. Why, just the other day, I caught... Yeah, so I got this great new gig. Oops, gotta go, Al. I'm getting a call on my other line. And to this day, no one's ever caught a bigger trap. Stick ah! right up. Give me hooks. I need plenty of bait. Hold a bigger net. Look, 
a house. <laughs> All houses got food in them. Oh, 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 oh. Forget about it. We're going dead. You see, Grant, picnics are better than just food. They're an ant's Shangri-La. Is Shangri-La French for food? Ah! Move out! Now the orange, Grant. Take the orange. Spray you, Woodpecker, but if you keep bothering me, I will, by Yingo. Lower in the house, Anthony. Hey, quit your squawking. You're surrounded by food, aren't you? Say, what are you doing with my grub, bub? Don't mind us, woodpecker. We got an eating disorder. As in, disorder is to go. <laughs> Detector will take care of anything that moves. So, you've had enough, have you? Greetings. We offer you this peace, off uh, peace offering in an attempt to form a trace. Truce with your tallness and big-footedness. Truce, huh? I thought you guys would come around. Now beat it so I can enjoy my day. Food, here we come. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? I 
am trying to have a nice picnic over here. Keep it down. Nice picnic? Nice picnic? Oh, yeah. A nice picnic. I know just what you mean. Means of here, the crazy woodpecker. You think he's stopping? I don't know. Let's take a look. Ready? <gasps> Anthony, look! Shangri-La! So long! See you later! Nice doing business with you! If you can't beat him, send him to your neighbor! No! Lance! No! Get away! <laughs> Your Honor, you can't send me and Tweaky to jail. <laughs> Besides in which, we never took that lady's jewelry, Your Honor. The jewels jumped from her foresafe into our hands as we was taking a moonlight stroll past her mansion. Order, order in my court. Because of your obvious theatrical and storytelling talents, I'm sentencing you both to do community service. You'll stage a play at the Youth Center. And if you don't put on a good show, it'll be a thousand years hard labor. Wiki, we're gonna get society to pay us while we pay our debt to society. Auditions today. Five bucks. Oh, we want a trial for your plane, mister, but we don't have any bucks. Then scram. But, boss, we don't have any other actors. And you know what the judge said. I know. I know what the judge said. All right, let's see. I'm putting on a kid's show here. It's, uh, it's called Peter Pan. Tweaky and me wrote it ourselves. You didn't write Peter Pan? Yeah, we saw that show here last month. Oh, <laughs> did I say Peter Pan? No, 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 no. I said Peter Pan Handler. Yeah, that's my play, Peter Pan Handler. <laughs> You're hired. Yay, we won't let you down. Where's the stage? Where's my dressing room? Boss, you just broke the first rule of the theater. What, never act with kids or animals? Never act with kids who are animals. Oh, we're sincerely doomed. Hey, snap out of it, Tweaky. There ain't nothing to produce in a kid's show. I'm gonna mount a production the likes of which this community ain't never seen. Or my name ain't Broadway Buzz Buzzard. These guys are strictly B-list. And they're gonna stink up this town. Unless we take matters into our own hands. <laughs> Act 9, scene 47 of Peter Panhandler. The Buzz and Tweaky story. This scene shows how me and Tweaky once had to bilk a sweet old lady out of a family heirloom jewels just to eat. Feel it, people. Feel it. Cue Splinter and Nuthead! Ha-ha! Yo-ho-ho! Ha-ha! Take that! Whoa! What do you two think you're doing? There ain't no pirates in my life story! But the judge loves pirates. Yeah, everyone loves pirates. You gotta have pirates! Oh, the pain! That's what's wrong with Broadway today. There's too much catering to the public's whims. Well, not in my show. No dancing pirates, no singing cats. Oh, this is art! Juice, splinter and not head. Super woodpeckers to the rescue! Let's save him, Speedy Splinter! Roger your Ramco, nimble knothead! Cut, cut, cut! There ain't no flying woodpecker scene! Who's directing this show, you or me? Don't answer that! Now you play me, and you play Tweaky! No pirates, no flying woodpeckers! This is drama! 
play the scenes of my life so the audience can feel my pain. <laughs> Pain. Do you feel his pain? Oh, yeah. I definitely feel his pain. <laughs> the theater's full, boss. You know what'll happen if they hate our play, Tweaky? What come midnight, we'll be slow dancing on C Block with a gorilla named Bubba. No! We'll never get to Broadway! There's only one solution. In tonight's performance, the parts of Buzz Buzzard and Tweaky Delacky will be played by, uh, themselves. You two gotta play all the other parts. Come on, Tweaky, it's showtime. <laughs> Peter Pan Handler, the Buzz and Tweaky story. As a baby buzzard, I was abandoned on the doorstep of two gentle... Pirates! It's the most spectacular show I've ever seen. Okay, okay. Take us away, Judge. Not a chance, Buzz. You're a hit. We want you to direct the next show here, Director Buzz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do Death of a Salesman. And we'll play the evil space aliens. Well, of course. Hey, wait a minute. There ain't no evil space aliens in Death of a Salesman. Ah! Out of my way, boss! Oh, help me, Tweaky! <laughs> what are you doing, Woodpecker? I'm just trying to pay my rent. What? This is written in purple ink! I know, I know, but it's the only color I could find. Honest, Miss Meanie. The rent check is to be written in black ink. Yeah, yeah, black, blue, purple. What's the big deal? The big deal is I finally had it with you. This time you're out for good. Just borrow a black pen out. I told you you're finished, Woodpecker. So, I've gone and rented the treehouse to him. I'm Nicky Nicknacker. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I'm ready to sign your lease, dear lady. If only you behave more like this sweet debonair fellow, you might still be my tenant. But since you are nowhere near as cultured and refined, you're out of here. Oh, you T! Do you hear me? Out! Dear Meanie, now that the lease is signed, could you possibly see your way clear to lend me a mere morsel of food to tide me over until I'm settled in? Anything. What would you like? Oh, heavens. Just some soup, perhaps? One soupy doopy for my Nicky Wicky. And oh, I don't know, perhaps an egg? There we go! You know, it occurs to me, I could use a couple of ten, a um, hundred, uh, I mean thousand dollars. <laughs> yes, ten thousand would spot me nicely until the banks open. 
on Monday. Oh, 10,000? <laughs> Pshaw, what's a little uh, cash among uh, friends? If you're thinking of coming up to my treehouse, would you do me the honor of phoning first? <laughs> Check it out, this biddy has some mighty cool stuff. The last one she'll ever suspect is little old me. <laughs> Mr. Knockwurst is a creep and a crook. Here's where I get my house back. Hey, what do you think you... I mean, why are you trespassing in my tree height? You can drop the bad British accent, bub. I'm way ahead of you. Ms. Meanie will have to believe me when I return her... <laughs> you ain't spoiling this for me. <laughs> Miss Meanie, I forewarned you that the cat was stealing from you. No! It was him! Him, Miss Meanie! That's the last straw. <laughs> I love the way you handle the riffraff, Miss Meanie. Meanie to throw socialite party for Nixon Knickknacker. Hmm. I bet old Nicky will be up to his tricks at a wingding like this. <laughs> Meanie might not let me back on her property, but like I always say, one good imposter deserves another. And then I said. So I said to the queen, it's a toilet brush, not a toothbrush. <laughs> Let's see what that freeloading treehouse wrecker is up to now. Gotcha. Spinach souffle bites, my sweet. <laughs> Nicky boy! Yeehaw! I've been wondering where my nephew Nicky was at. I'm Nicky's Uncle Knuckles of the Knoxville Neckmakers. You're not my Uncle Knuckles, you're an imposter. Huh? Nicky, what's come over you? <laughs> I mean, this is preposterous. I don't have an Uncle Knuckles, Miss Mooney. Ah, uh, he's always pretending we ain't kin. Yep, 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 yep. That's our little game, right, Sticky Nicky? Sticky Nicky? Sure, he got that nickname because everything he puts his hands on sticks to him. <laughs> Is this the old bitty you told me you got wrapped around your feather tips? What? what? <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, dear lady, I've never seen this imposter in my life. Say, you got the time, bub? I did it, hope. Yump and yes, he yams. They've been robbed. Oh, shucks. That's too bad. But you know what we neckbackers do when bad times hit? We square dance. Alvin and left, Alvin and left, promenade. That's my pocket watch. And my brooch! <laughs> Woodpecker! It was you? How clever! <laughs> How could I ever thank you? Well, since you've been in such a generous mood lately, here's a short list of extras I think you could provide me at no additional rent. What? Oh, <laughs> no, you don't, Woodpecker! You won't take advantage of my hospitality, you freeloading sponge bird, you walking boots wagon! Get back here! Get back here! While we're gone, I'm counting on you to answer the phones and wash the truck. And, as a trainee fireman, if there's a real emergency, call on the radio. Don't try to be a hero. 10-4, yes, sir. I'm a trainee, sir. Over and out, chief. I got the firehouse all on myself! Forget trainee! I'm a fireman. 
I'm a fireman! <laughs> beep, beep, beep! Look out, lady! <laughs> Don't jump, little fella! I'll save you! <laughs> Wait right there. Rock Granite's the name. Saving lives is my game. I'm a real fireman. Hey, uh, what does a guy have to do around here to chow down, wear a uniform, and zip around in that flashy truck anyway? So you want to be a fireman? It's not easy, you know. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Let's just get to the good stuff. <gasps> uh -huh. No firehouse goodies till you prove you've got what it takes to be a real hero, like Rock Granite. And you start out by washing the truck. What? Oh, we're gonna have some fun together, you and me. Fire's one thing, but ever rescue a kitten from a tree? Big fluffy wuffy ones? <whistles> what a rush! And between calls, I'll teach you how to crochet pants. Knit one, purl one, drop one. No grub, no uniform, no driving the truck till I prove I got what it takes. Well, what do you know? Here's my chance. Well, howdy, ma'am. Can Fireman Woody borrow your baby doll for a safety demonstration? Ooh, oh my. Uh, Rock, do you hear a child crying? Have no fear, Rock is here! Set yourself down while Woody's around. You're a trainee! Should do the trick. I'm coming, little lady. Ah! Ah! some baby booties for Junior. Woody, a hand. In fact, both hands. Your baby will have booties faster than you can say rock granite would look great in a cape. I'll make sure this guy doesn't help me out this time. <laughs> Big 
Well done. <laughs> why are you sitting around out here, trainee Granite? Trainee? And why isn't the truck washed? How do you expect to become a real fireman if you don't do your job? But I... Uh, Chief, the woodpecker. I mean, I... Uh, uh, can I crochet a muffler? A pair of socks. Chief, you look snappy in a knitted bathing suit. Oh, yeah. What a day. Thanks for saving my cart, woodpecker. As far as I'm concerned, you get free hot dogs for life. Oh, boy. Starting now? <laughs>